Hey everybody, I'm really excited about today's lecture on fatty acid synthesis. I've really wanted to start uploading some biochem videos for everybody, uh, but I've been sick the last week or so, and so my voice has sounded really weird. So I am just coming down from it, so just decided I'm just, I was going to start it. So let's get into fatty acid synthesis. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about are the major players. Okay, so one of the major players you need to know about is malonyl CoA. And malonyl CoA is a three carbon molecule. It's made by the enzyme ACC, which is acetyl CoA carboxylase. And it's made from acetyl CoA and CO2. So you're taking two carbons plus one carbon, and you're making a three carbon molecule. And malonyl CoA is very important because it's the first intermediate and fatty acid synthesis, but also because it regulates beta oxidation, which is kind of like the opposite of um, fatty acid synthesis. It's where you're breaking apart a fatty acid instead Specifically, of... Specifically, malonyl CoA is going to inhibit carnitine acyltransferase 1. And so here we've got the reaction that we're going to use to make a fatty acid. So once we've got malonyl CoA, we take it and add acetyl CoA to it, which is two carbons. And this is using the enzyme fatty acid synthase. And in this reaction, you're going to take one malonyl CoA plus many acetyl CoAs until you reach your desired length of your fatty acid chain. So for malonyl CoA, the way we're going to think about it is it sounds like Malone. So if you watch basketball at all, you probably know about Carl Malone, famous player for the Utah Jazz. And so we're going to think about Carl Malone because he was an awesome shot blocker. And so we're going to think of malonyl CoA as the beta oxidation shot blocker. Also, if you're watching college basketball, the ACC is a conference in college basketball called the Atlantic Coast Conference. And so I use that as a reminder that ACC is connected to malonyl CoA. And then I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but ACC is the regulated step of fatty acid synthesis. So a very important enzyme. If they're going to test you on fatty acid synthesis, you're definitely going to see something about malonyl CoA or ACC. Okay, so here we're going to talk about the two major enzymes in fatty acid synthesis. So we've got ACC and then fatty acid synthase. So ACC makes malonyl CoA. Another important thing to know is that it uses biotin. So it uses this kind of coenzyme called biotin. And Usually you see biotin paired with a carboxylase, which means you're adding a carbon. So if, if we go back here, this carboxylase enzyme, which has a biotin coenzyme, is adding a carbon. So the way I think about it is biotin kind of sounds like buy-in. So I think of it like you're buying a carbon. So you're using a carboxylase, you're buying a carbon, and you're increasing a carbon by one. Okay, so it's the regulated step of fatty acid synthesis. So a couple kind of buzzwords that you might see that all are kind of words for the same thing. Allosteric enzyme, that means you can regulate it at a spot other than the active site. Uh, it is the committed step. So once you've, once you've moved past this, you're committed to making the fat. It is an irreversible fate. That's another kind of word for the same thing as committed. A high concentration of citrate turns on ACC. We'll regulate it up, we'll upregulate it. So cit one of the things about citrate is it's one of the precursors to making acetyl-CoA in the Krebs cycle. So if you take citrate plus oxaloacetate in the Krebs cycle, you're gonna make acetyl-CoA. And so if you're high in citrate, you're gonna wanna make acetyl-CoA. And then low energy states will turn off the enzyme because Making fatty acids is energy intensive, requires energy. So if you don't have energy, you're going to turn the enzyme off. I am continuing on with that memory aid for Carl Malone. You know, I just thought of this. I was looking at citrate, and it looks kind of like citrus. So like lemons, you know. So if, so let's think that Carl Malone likes lemons. He likes citrus. So if we're high. In citrate, we're going to turn ACC on. It's going to make more malonyl CoA. Malone's going to be happy. Boom. Fatty acid synthase. Just a couple things to know about this. 
um, fatty acids, 